What's up, everybody, and welcome to Fallout New Vegas. Today, we are finally going back to this. Yesterday, we wrapped up the Fallout 3 playthrough, where I did a, all of the main story, all of the DLCs, and a decent amount of side missions that I came across. We hit max level of 30, since that's what Broken Steel allows you to hit. And uh, today, we're finally continuing on with the series. Uh, we're starting New Vegas. I haven't played this in a very long time uh but it's one of the ones that i've played also the most at the same time so yeah. i'm looking forward to it and uh it should be a good time yo mr average thank you for the sub there i appreciate that thank you for the resub but yeah uh if you guys end up enjoying this leaving a like on the video makes a huge difference we'll see if we hit that 20 or 30 like goal on the youtube vod and um with that said i think we might as well just get started create our character and go from there so fallout new vegas in 2024 and by the way i do have it it's pretty much running vanilla only thing i installed was one tweak so that way i can run it in borderless window mode which is pretty nice so here we go here we go Unfortunately, this part might get muted for the YouTube VOD because of copyright, but we'll see. That's such a sick intro. War. War never changes. When atomic fire consumed the earth, those who survived did so in great underground vaults. When they opened, their inhabitants set out across the ruins of the old world to build new societies, establishing villages, forming tribes. As decades passed, what had been the American Southwest united beneath the flag of the new California Republic, dedicated to old world values of democracy and the rule of law. As the Republic grew, so did its needs. Scouts spread east, seeking territory and wealth in the dry and merciless expanse of the Mojave Desert. They returned with tales of a city untouched by the warheads that had scorched the rest of the world, and a great wall spanning the Colorado River. The NCR mobilized its army and sent it east to occupy Hoover Dam and restore it to working condition. But mm, across the Colorado, Hoover Dam. another society had arisen under a different flag. A vast army of slaves forged from the conquest of 86 tribes, Caesar's Legion. Hmm. Four years have passed since the Republic held the dam, just barely, against the Legion's onslaught. The Legion did not retreat. Across the river, it gathers strength. Campfires burn, training drums beat. Through it all, the New Vegas Strip has stayed open for business under the control of its mysterious overseer, Mr. House, and his army of rehabilitated tribals and police robots. You are a courier, hired by the Mojave Express to deliver a package to the New Vegas Strip. What seemed like a simple delivery job has taken a turn for the worse. Oh boy. You got what you were after, so pay up. 
You're crying in the rain, Pally. <laughs> Guess who's waking up over here? Time to cash out. Will you get it over with? Maybe cons kill people without looking them in the face. But I ain't a fink. Dig? You've made your last delivery, kid. Sorry you got twisted up in this scene. From where you're kneeling must seem like an 18-carat run of bad luck. Truth is, the game was rigged from the start. That intro, though, man. Oh, it's so good. From the second you see the sniper take the first shot, where he gets the headshot to that. Oh, it's all so good. So good. So, for this one, I finally remember to enable all the DLC before we actually started. So, uh, we're going to have a few pop-ups here. Caravan pack. On PC, after you like start the game, there's like a launcher that comes up and then it says data files. And in there, when you check all the boxes, then it automatically enables DLC. For some reason, it's not enabled by default. So, all right, let's see what we got here. Here Whoa, we go. Easy there, easy. You've been out cold a couple of days now. Why don't you just relax a second, get your bearings. Let's see what the damage is. How about your name? Can you tell me your name? My name is... It, by default, it goes Courier. We'll just go Cassis. Kind of same thing we did for Fallout 3. Also, good morning, chat. Hello, hello. I can't say it's what I'd have picked for you, but if that's your name, that's your name. <laughs> I'm Doc Mitchell. Welcome to Good Springs. Now, I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. I Ooh. take pride in my needlework, but you'd better tell me if I left anything out of place. Okay. How'd I do? All right, here we go. Character customization. And, of course, uh, one second, chat. I got to restart TikTok because it's already broken a bit here it seems the so one second if you're watching on tiktok you'll have to just rejoin in a minute it already got flagged as reproduced content probably because of the cutscene i think if if you just get stuck in cutscenes it like thinks that it's just a video but it's literally a video game like hello Anyways, all right, that's all set. Most of it right anyway. Stuff that mattered. Okay. Base. Let's see the presets here. Now, there's a little bit of mouse acceleration. It's weird because I turned it off in game, but I think in the menu it's a little bit different. So. Oh god! It like my my mouse is why Maybe it's uh. Yeah, maybe it is uh, smoothening or something like that instead. I kind of like this one starting out. Yeah, I think I'm going to start with two. I feel like that's that's a new Vegas face right there. Change it to green eyes, even though we no, we'll never really see it. All right, let's go let's see age. We'll keep that right there next hairstyle. Let's see what kind of hairstyles we get here. Sarge. It is kind of crazy, though, like even just looking at the guy that uh, we're talking to, the doctor guy, um, you can already see the upgrade and graphics from the last game from Fallout 3. And they weren't too far off from each other. It's only a few years. Like less than five. I think it was it might have been like three. Two or three. Now different developers and everything, but still. I might just have to go with the Pompadour. 
Small thing, buzz over. Foam over. Smooth. Yeah, Fallout <laughs> haircuts have always not, not really been the best, but that's okay. All right, yeah, let's not go too long here. Sure, we'll just do that. A little shiny, too. Kind of funny. All right, what about beards? What kind of beards do we got here? Survivalist goatee. The gentleman. Added the grease to make it look good. True. Tough guy. All right, we'll probably go with the same one as before. I feel like survivalist is a little too much. Rough beard is probably just about what we need. Let's do a hair color. We'll do that. All right, that's good. There we are. We made it to New Vegas. Let's do it. Done. Sure you want this to be your character? Yes, I yes I am. Okay. No sense keeping you in bed anymore. Let's see if we can get you on your feet. Good. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room? Over by that bigger tester machine there. Yeah, even just like looking Take at him right now. now. It ain't a race. I can see how much better the character looks. Okay. And this one, so a lot of people came through during Fallout oh, 3 playthrough so far. saying that we we're running a little bit too fast. I actually capped the frames this time. Right quick if so right that way it's not, um, yeah. I capped it to 65-ish. That way we're not like running too fast compared to it. I actually tested this out and I was running from this part of the room to the corner over there within like half a second. So it was very noticeable, but let's see what we got here. Okay. We got to do our special stats strength. So we got five points to go. I'll probably leave this one at five. Melee, unarmed, inventory weight, damage, weight, uh, weapon effectiveness. Honestly, let's do six. Just because that weight is going to help a lot. Explosive, lockpick, energy weapons, accuracy, compass, range, perception. I might leave that default. Unarmed, health, resistance, survival, I might leave that default too. Yep. We're going. We're going charisma. I'm going charisma. Might bump that up to seven. Intelligence. I'm going to bump that one up a bit. I might do seven there. Now nah, we're got to do intelligence and agility. Guns, sneak, speed, action point, regeneration. And then luck. All skills, critical hits, enemy mishaps. Um. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to start like this. I would like to get these other ones to seven, though. Like agility and luck, I would like to get to seven, too. But I think that's a good starting point. Okay. This is just the beginning, so we'll have plenty of time to change things as we go. But for right now, I think this is good. All right, let's do it. Yeah, that's a pretty standard score there, but after what you've been through, I'd say that's great news. Well, we know your vitals are good, but that don't mean them bullets didn't leave you nuttered and a bighorn are dropping. What do you say you take a seat in my couch and we go through a couple of questions? See if your dogs are still barking. Okay. All right, let's save real quick, too. Not too bad. All right, Doc. It's been a rough life. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure if All I'm ready. All right. I'm going to say a word 
I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Dog. Most people keep charisma low because persuade is tied to skill points, not the special. So you can have low charisma and still persuade everyone. Really? So is it different from the last one? Oh, shoot. I forgot. I don't even know the question he just asked me. He said, what, what do you think when I say dog? Uh, cat. House. Burglarize. Renovate, investment, demolish, shelter. Night. Sleep. Bandit. Bribe. Brush, stab, switch, cheese, vaporize. Reasonable. Bribe. Light. Heavy. Mother. Caretaker, jeans, cookie jar, tantrum, cattle, regret, human. <laughs> Human shield. Caretaker. Okay. Now I got a few statements. I want you to tell me how much they sound like something you'd say. First one. Conflict just ain't in my nature. Um. Agree. I ain't given to relying on others for support. Disagree. I'm always fixing to be the center of attention. I mean, we are the main character. We'll go no opinion. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. Strongly disagree. I charge in to deal with my problems head on. Strongly disagree. Almost done here. What do you say you have a look at this? Tell me what you see. I see a cloud of smoke. Oh, now I see two people talking to each other. Wait, a broken chain? Chemical reaction, a shadow in the door frame? I see two faces. Like, there's a nose, there's a... Yeah, they're, they're facing each other. Um, I don't see any of these. A broken chain. Okay. How about this one? Yo, Anthony, thank you for the GGs there. Appreciate the gift. Priceless work of art. Some piece of space age technology. I see like a, a sword. Like a knight. A knight's sword. Uh, too embarrassed to say what it looks like. I can see the ship. The ship at sea. Sure. Last one. Bearded man. A light in the dark mushroom cloud. Head on a pillow. Dude, I don't see any of these. I I see two people giving high fives to each other. Uh, a light in the in the darkness. Yeah, two well, bears hair high fiving. That's what wrote. I see. <laughs> I don't have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. See if it all seems right to you. Okay. Uh, probably not. Yeah, I think we're gonna change this up. Wait, so you're saying earlier, so charisma, uh, one charisma, 50 speech equals 10 charisma, 50 speech. Huh? It only affects companion damage, so most people keep it low, but of course, keep charisma at whatever you want. I'm trying to backseat. No, it's all good. It's all, that's perfectly fine. I'm okay with, with the tips and everything. But yeah, I definitely, I'm still going to spec into like speech and everything. So that's going to be one of the ones. Um, but it is a little bit confusing off the bat from what you're saying. We'll probably go speech, medicine. Uh, I could do barter early on, but I also like using, do we have small guns here? Oh, it just changed to guns now. Oh, okay. Guns determine your effectiveness with any weapon that uses con conventional ammunition. So it's not small guns and big guns and then other things. It's just guns, energy weapons, and... Okay, cool. Yeah, I think these are a good starting point. 
the starting point right there. Loose, I need one more thing from you. I got a form for you to fill out so I can get a sense of your medical history. Yo, Devin, take where the gifts there. Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. Choose up to two traits or none. Okay. Oh, God. Got to read through these. Let's see what we got. Flamer. Okay. Claustrophobia. <laughs> you gain plus one to special attributes when outside, but suffer one when indoors. Interesting. While using guns and energy weapons, you fire 20% more quickly, but shots are 20% less accurate. Uh, I don't really like that. Good natured. Uh, you're more prone to solving problems with your mind than violence. You gain plus five to barter, medicine, repair, science, and speech, but have minus five to energy weapons and explosives, guns, melee weapons. I don't really like the trade offs. Wild wasteland. Yeah, I see a lot of people saying wild wasteland. Wild wasteland unleashes the most bizarre and silly elements of post apocalyptic America, not for the faint of heart or the serious of temperament. Wait. You won't regret it? Alright. Chat's saying it, so I'm doing it. I'm doing it. What else? Skilled? You gain 5 points for every skill, but you suffer 10% from... Ah, okay. Also has the best Easter eggs. Yeah, I'll definitely do that. I feel like I, I kind of remember that one a bit. That my dog's going off right now. All right, a lot of these other ones give negatives, so I might just leave it as is. I might just take that one. Good natured is one I was thinking of doing too. What's Logan's loophole? No one, no one's going to put you out of your uh, pasture. You're going to stay young and level 30 forever. You'll never again become addicted to chems and you'll last twice as long. But after 30, you can kiss experience points, perks, and skill points goodbye. Yeah, I ain't doing that. <laughs> Yeah, I think we're going to go maybe a lot. I see a lot of people saying good natured too. Might as well. We lose out on the energy weapons, but it's only five points, right? So I, I think that's fine. I am going to be doing a good karma run. So yeah. All right, let's do that. I can be persuaded right. just like I'm going to persuade my, it. my people Come with me. I'll see you out. chat. You can persuade me. Okay. There's different things. That you can persuade me to get as well. Alright, let's see. Let me actually just bump up the brightness a little bit more. Because I still feel like it's pretty dark. Dude, I can't get used to the... There's some sort of mouse acceleration. Or like, mouse smoothening. Because every time I feel my mouse like flying across the screen. But in game it seems fine. Yo, Loki, thanks for the follow there. Nostalgia right here, favorite Fallout yeah, game? Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to this. Was all you had on you when you was brought in. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find a next of kin, but it was just something about a platinum chip. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They call it a Pip-Boy. I grew up in one of them vaults they made before the war. We all got one. Ain't much used to be now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something taken from you. And put this on, too, so the locals don't pick on you for lack and modesty. Never was much my style, anyway. Thanks for patching me up, Doc. Uh, don't mention it. It's what I'm here for. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. 
I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out, too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. Okay. But try not to get killed anymore. I'll do my best. All right. Um, <laughs> hardcore mode. Eight. Hey, not today, chat. Not, not today. Maybe eventually. Not today, though. It's been a long time since I played the, these and I want to enjoy it and not try to, you know, I want to I want to have a good time first before I go crazy. The old world world blues, you've gotten a fragment signal, a uh, fragmented signal on your pit boy, a coded transmission of the sort of the sad jazzy undercurrent that makes your head hurt. As far as you can tell, it appears to be an invitation to midnight science fiction feature at the Mo Mojave. Mojave drive in. Please arrive early to catch the trailers. Okay. We're going to get all the pop ups now. Your pit boy has received a signal. Okay. On the coordinates for Courier 6, it's signed Ulysses. Ulysses. Lonesome Road has been loaded. Your level cap has been increased by five. Happy trails. Looking for one more member of the expedition. Honest Hearts has been loaded. Your level cap has been raised by five. Whew. All right. Well, we made it. We made it to New Vegas. Okay, it's still popping up. <laughs> Gunrunner Arsenal. The ongoing conflict of the wasteland has kicked weapon manufacturers into high gear all major and minor weapon dealers in the region are rolling in new weapons ammunition types and modifications okay got a lot of new quests here too all right let me uh let me save here for a second oh yeah maybe i should throw some clothes on too while we're at it yeah isn't uh our buddy boone somewhere up there okay Sierra Madre Grand Opening. Okay, yep. At this point, I'm just gonna let them go through. Okay. <laughs> All weapons fall under. Okay, this one's actually useful. Damage DPS indicate the damage uh, damage per second, strength, skill. Okay. Condition and repair. Got it. All right, that one's actually useful there. That's fine. Okay, apparel, same thing. Damage threshold, apparel condition. Okay, this one actually, does this game let you, so in Fallout 3, it didn't let you sort by weight or like price or anything like that. It doesn't look like this one does either, unfortunately. All right, we're gonna throw on Vault 13 jumpsuit, to be honest. These two wear the same light metal armor. I don't want to lose the one agility. Oh, actually, never mind. We're doing the Vault 21 jumpsuit. Weapons and speech. Is this vanilla? Yes. Yep. This is vanilla on PC. Just with all the DLCs installed, which will we'll probably do the same thing that I did last time. Uh, so with Fallout 3, I did all the DLCs. Um after we finish like the main story or if there's like another point within the main story we can also do that ammo jeez ammunition is used by all guns okay cool is one of these the main story the back in the stat the saddle go over here we haven't walked anywhere yet we literally just it, it's funny because you don't even leave a vault in this one you just wake up you're like yep yeah, well, I got shot so oh never mind good springs requires a key all right let's go to the water tower if you read them you'll see which one's DLC and which one isn't does it actually tell you I 
I don't see an, a DLC indicator. Oh, we got somebody. First person to chat with in the... Uh... Okay, never mind. Sure knows his stuff, doesn't he? Good Springs home. Hello? Anyone here? The first four are all DLCs? Okay. Is there any DLC that's worth doing early on for New Vegas? Because, like, I know a lot of people were saying do the uh, Operation Anchorage when I did Fallout 3, but I didn't really do that until I was, like, level 15-ish. I, I probably will follow the main story for a bit. Um, get any side missions, like anything that's good to help me get started. But then once I hit, you know, level five or like 10 it, around that area, if there are like story missions or side missions, uh, I mean, DLC, then I'll, I'll do them too. You must be the one Doc Mitchell was patching up. The way I heard it, I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. I've got plenty of supplies for sale. Even got some weapon mods and special ammo. Well worth the caps if you ask me. If you're hurting for caps, I've also got boxes of surplus ammo in the miscellaneous section. They're not great, but you get what you pay for. Okay. All right. You know anything about the people who attacked? I don't know. This guy doesn't even know who I am, but sure. The leader was a New Vegas type. Typical city boy. He had a bunch of great cons with him. Probably hired guns. The great cons normally stay in their own territory way up northwest, on account of them being enemies with the NCR. Okay. Anything else you can tell me about the Great Cons? They're tough sons of bitches. Mean, but not crazy. They'll leave you alone unless you got something Yeah, they I want. guess everybody the does great know cons what happened. Deal in illegal chems. There's a good chance that most chems you come across were made by Great Cons. Okay. Have you ever been to New Vegas? Twice. Both times I drank a lot of liquor and lost most of my caps at the card tables. In that order, now that I think about it. If you ever get to New Vegas, be sure to visit Gamora. It's the best casino in the city. You won't regret it. Word of advice. Gamora. Behave. Between the NCR military police and Mr. House's robots, you don't want to be causing trouble on the strip. Okay. I'd like to know more about Mr. House. I'm afraid I don't know much myself. Mr. House has got his own casino, Lucky 38, but nobody goes in or out except his robots. The other casinos mm. follow Mr. House's rules. So I guess that makes him the leader of New Vegas. As far as I know, nobody's ever laid eyes on the guy. I think that robot who pulled you out of the dirt belongs to Mr. House. If Mr. House is looking after you, it's got to be a good thing, right? I guess so. All right. Goodbye. Take it easy now. All right. Here we are. I guess we'll go over to... Yeah, we'll run into the, the saloon and yap with a few people. <clears throat> I'm still in my used to just exiting out and saving. Does this game let you have multiple quick saves? Fallout 3 only lets you have one quick save. The rest of them you had to manually save. Howdy. What can Easy Pete do for you? Do you know anything about the people who attacked me? The one in the fancy suit seemed to be calling the shots. That's as much as I know. Other folks in town might know more. Just one, so always though. save. Damn. If you ever catch up with him, watch out. The man's got cold eyes like a snake. Can't be trusted, I'd say. Okay. Why you call it Easy Pete? Was a prospector until I decided to settle here to get away from the I NCR. Got TB, sister. Now we'll just take it easy and help out with I the bombing and big horners. So you're a prospect? Like, digging for gold and silver? Nah, nah. Means I poke through old buildings looking for working tech and such. Some folks just call it salvaging, but never like the term. Mm. The way I see it, salvage means it's broken, near worthless. Me, I look for the good stuff. Guns, chems, spare parts. Good money in it. Um... Did you find anything good while prospecting? Nope. Had a pretty good claim once, way out east by the river. I could turn up the game a little bit. Off by raiders. Probably. 
Eventually got too old to keep going out. What's wrong with the NCR? Don't get me wrong. The NCR's got a lot of decent folk in it. It's just that they make you part of them whether you like it or not. Towns like Good Springs and Prim don't stay independent for long. Not if you've got something the NCR wants. Still, the NCR keeps the Legion away. Okay, well, now you gotta tell, tell me about the Legion. They're slavers, led by a guy named Caesar, or Kaisar. Not sure how you're supposed to say it. Kaisar. A couple of years ago, <laughs> they tried to take over Hoover Dam, but the NCR beat them back. The NCR didn't or couldn't finish the job, though. The Legion's got its strength back and is getting ready for another round at the dam. My money's still on the NCR winning, but you never know. We've Ooh. been hearing stories about Legionaries on the Nevada side of the river, so keep a gun handy. You don't want to get caught by them. What's so important about the Hoover Dam? The dam powers a lot of New Vegas, and then there's all that clean water lying in Lake Mead, too. <clears throat> Anybody who owns the dam owns the territory. Okay. Uh, what do you use for the big horners? Meat and hide, use mostly. them for, I guess. You can't put a pack on them. They just lay down until you take it off. Can find wow. a bunch of wild ones high up in the hills, but got to be careful around them. They can put up a decent fight if cornered. All right. I'll ask the last one, and then we'll go out. The machine? Harmless, no matter what Trudy says. She thinks it's hiding something, but I think it's just a broken down relic with no place to be. All right, we're good. Keep your gun. Saul, by the way, thank you for the uh, follow there and chat. If you're watching on TikTok, thank you for all the new followers and likes so far, wherever you are watching. Appreciate it. Oh. Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry, she won't bite unless I tell her to. Okay. Doc Mitchell said that you could teach me to survive in the desert. Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. Okay. We'll meet her outside. Flashing arrow on your compass shows the location objective. It's kind of funny, like, I feel the same thing when uh when i started fallout 3s like at first you're overrun with a lot of stuff you're like getting used to the game and everything uh but then by you know five ten hours in you're like okay I've, i know the best weapons i've got i know the best equipment i know like where to go i've got plans of things i want to do right now like now, where do i even see begin the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there take this and try to hit a couple of them okay Grab that. Give me a varmint rifle. Wait, where are they? The bottles? Oh, there they are. Oh, they're behind me. Oh, you can actually ADS in this one. Okay. That's different. That's the right idea. Look, try crouching down. Man, I forgot. Still. It'll help your aim. Nice shot. Well, that's okay. a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to All learn right. to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Tell you what. I gotta go chase geckos away from a water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? I'm in. Follow me. It's just down to the southeast a short ways. Yeah, I'll take the tutorial. While we're here, honestly. Damn, I, I completely forgot that you can ADS. In three, it's, it's just a little bit of a zoom. <laughs> But is it really that much useful? I mean, if it does ADSing actually like aiming down sights, does it actually make um does it make it more accurate in this one, or is it just like it's just a different point of view? It does make it more accurate. This isn't my first time playing Fallout New Vegas, but it's been many, many years. Same thing with three, is like there's certain parts and aspects that I remember, like the casino, I remember a decent amount. Boone, I remember, like, meeting him for the first time. And a few other characters, like Caesar and stuff. But um, the core, like, gameplay beginning, like, in that all in between 
it's been so many years it, it almost feels like it's a first playthrough so and i don't mind it behind for me that. there we got some geckos that clear out bunch of little monsters is what they are seems like doc mitchell treats more gecko bites than anything else let's see if we can get a little closer if we move quietly we can get the jump on them more likely to hit something vital that way okay well, let's sneak okay you're on go give him hell i will i will i will yo gore thanks for the uh thank okay. you for the follow there come on oh god oh god <laughs> things look goofy I'm definitely going to be uh, specking into some vats for this one, too. I forgot how much I, I love vats. Especially in the last one, it reminded me so much how good vats is. All right, Sonny. See? You're getting the hang of it. There's two more wells that still need clearing. You want, you can come along. It'd be worth a few caps to me. Yeah, I mean, we can't go wrong with a few caps early on. Sure, I'll come with you. Shouldn't take more than a couple minutes, especially with two of us. Come with me. You watch the show? Yes, I did watch the show and absolutely loved it. That's what initially sparked the, uh, like, I, I started Fallout 3 before the show came out because I knew it was going to, you know, get a little bit of an uptick. And that's the longest one that I, I haven't played Come on. Uh, in a while. So, and then it ended up doing way better than I'm exp I was initially expecting. It's crazy because every single Fallout game has been reaching and exceeding their initial player count caps, uh, even on PC. Like yesterday, Fallout 3 was a thousand players off from their cap of nine years, like their high time or high score of like nine years. It was just crazy. Oh. Got him. You good, man? Now that was some good work. Even got a little exciting there at the end. Here's a little spending money for the trouble. One more thing I wanted to show you. Thought I might teach you about living off the land and making useful things for yourself. Interested? Couldn't hurt. All right, then. We'll need a couple ingredients to get started. Gonna want some Xander root and a Brock flower. Let me think now. I know I've seen Brock flowers growing up at the graveyard, and I seem to remember there being Xander root over by the schoolhouse. Bring those on back to me, and we'll get cooking. Okay. Holy moly. If you hadn't come here like you'd done, I'd be a goner for sure. I My came up here pleasure, to draw man. water, but here, you should have what I got. You look thirsty. Oh. You've established a reputation with a group of people in the wasteland. Whether that reputation is good or bad, you're finally somebody, and people are associated with that group will start to react to what you've done. You perform actions that benefit a group. Uh, good reputation, smiling, troublemaker, some good, a little bad, good-natured rascal, good, a little bad. Mixed reputations, okay. All right, okay. Folks have have come to accept you for your helpful nature. Thanks, man. Playing on PC? Yes. Yep, I'm playing on mouse and keyboard and PC. And this is all vanilla. The only thing that I uh, installed was something to let me run the game in uh, borderless window mode, which is called one. It's called one tweak. Uh, that's about it, though. Okay, let's see. Where is this at? So one's over here and one's up there. Okay. Time to let our, our travels begin. It's, it's cool, though. So far, I can already see the differences and the improvements from uh, 3 into this one. Even with them being only a few years apart. Like, I can see the character models look way better. Um, 
I like that they brought guns into just one aspect rather than just small guns and big guns. Like now it's just guns. Well, we're only we're 45 minutes in and there's no crashes of yet. Uh we'll we'll see, but hold, and while I say that, let me go ahead and do a save here. But I uh, will we'll see you yeah, now. I did get a few while I played uh what the heck. The hostile praying mantis. Well, Not today. Mantis foreleg. What was the two things that we need? Find a Brock flower and a Xander root. Try going inside here. Damn. Are these like the rad roaches? Are there rad roaches here? I don't remember these little guys. I totally should save my ammo, right? On these. Wait, what does two do? Oh, two changes your ammo. That's why I couldn't bind it to two. Yo, gold. Thanks for the uh, thanks for the follow there. Finished Fallout Three. Yep. Yesterday we finished the final DLC for Fallout Three. Um, did a decent amount of the story and everything, and now we're finally here in New Vegas. Continuing on with the series. Is this it? It's like the marker is leading me right here. I guess we just got to find it. <clears throat> You're on top of it. Oh, here it is. Wow. <laughs> it's so easy to miss sometimes. Yeah, I actually was on top of it. I was looking for something in front of me. You know, gamers never look up and they never look down. Well, I mean, sometimes they look down. But if it's something above you, that's where it's always rough. Yo, friendly homie. Thank you for the membership on YouTube. Yo, thank you very much. Thanks for becoming a member. Appreciate it. Can you play four without playing the others? Yeah, pretty much all the, the Fallout games you can play without playing the others um there are some things that overlap here and there like characters every once in a while it's it's rare but um they're all their own stories their own beginnings their own like quest lines so there really is no right or wrong answer for which one you start with the best thing i can say is play them all the characters overlap. There's a character that you meet uh, as a child in Fallout 3 that's also in Fallout 4. And we met them during the Fallout 3 uh, playthrough. Who? Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter, but it'll, it's uh, Maxon. He's Squire Maxon, and he's like 10 years old. In Fallout 3, you meet him at the, uh, the Citadel. McCready as well.
Damn. Okay. Wait, is this my grave? Jeez. It's like a little bit of like, I, I don't know what it is. Like dragging or something. Okay. What kind of build are you going for? Uh, I'm not sure yet. I mean, like, I don't really follow any builds really per se. I kind of just build my own thing, but definitely going to be high in speech, uh, ready and prepared with any weapons. I uh, will spec into guns, spec into vats, uh, and then really anything else. And uh, we're doing a good karma run, so you can probably see where we're going with that. Yeah, I, I know a lot of people have issues running both uh, 3 and New Vegas on PC. For me, I haven't had any issues, really. Um, I, I've tested the game a little bit before like I started streaming everything, and it, it, it seems like it's been fine. So... No, not, I don't have any mods. The only thing that I have installed is one tweak, which lets me run the game in borderless window mode. That's that's it, though. Let me see what you got. Yeah, these will do just fine. Just fine. All right, now. We're going to be making something folks on the trail call healing powder. Go on over to that campfire now. Give it a try. Activate the campfire. Uh, okay. Ingredients. Hey, that's not bad, see? Whoa. All it takes to make a recipe is the right ingredients and the right know-how. Sometimes it won't be a campfire you need. Might need to do some work on your guns and ammo, maybe. Important thing to get is it's all the same idea. You just need to find the right place to set up shop. Workbench or reloading bench, whatever. Well, I hope that's enough to get you started. I'm heading back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. Hey, do me a favor. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. Okay. Go and meet Trudy at the Prospect Saloon. Diane's a good dog. Good dog. Looks like dog meat from uh, Fallout 3. Alright, let's... Uh, yeah, sure. We'll go back up here. We'll follow this for, for a little bit. The main story, at least to get me started. I'm done being nice. If you don't hand Ringo over soon... I'm going to get my friends, and we're burning this town to the ground. Got it? We'll keep that in mind. Now, if you're not going to buy something, get out. Damn, Joe. What the hell is your problem? What's your problem? What do you what, what do you mean? If you're looking for supplies, Chad over at the general store can help you out. What's up, Trudy? Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. I overheard your argument. What what was that all about? Looks like our little town got itself dragged into the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. <laughs> about a week ago, this trader, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock. So we gave him a place to lie low. We hmm. didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. Where's Ringo now? He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. Oh. I know that. <laughs> Why not just kill Cobb and be done with it? What are you going to do? Yeah, what are you going to do? Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. Powder gangers? Chain gangs, really. The NCR brought them in from California to work on the rail lines. Problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea was a big escape not too long ago. Some of them stuck together so they could make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. Hmm. 
Why not just kill Cobb and be done with it? You mean murder him? That's not our way. Even if Cobb is scum, he can bluster and threaten all he wants. Okay. Talk about something else. All right. What happens if I help Ringo? If you were able to get Ringo out of this mess, you'd have a decent reputation around Good Springs. I'd even set you up with a discount. Of course, helping Ringo would also make the Powder Gangers mad. And they've got a lot of friends out there. So if I help Ringo and Good Spring will like me more, what if I help the Powder Gangers? Don't know why you'd want to do a thing like that. Yep, you'd get on their good side, but people around here wouldn't appreciate it one bit. That's fair. Um, I'm trying to track down the people who attacked me. Know anything about them? Not much, other than they're a bunch of freeloaders who expected a few rounds on the house. I was able to get them to pay up, though. Of course, one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor by accident, and it hasn't been working since. Did my attackers say where they were going? They were having some kind of argument about it, but the guy in the checkered coat kept shushing them. Sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. If that's the case, I can't say I blame them for not wanting to go back. Why's that? That whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. Merchants avoid that whole stretch of I-15 like it's radioactive, which it could be for all I know. So where are they headed then? I didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking about the strip. Fellow wants to get there and avoid the 15, he'd have to go east. Take Highway 93 up. Okay. Want me to take a look at your broken radio? Sure. The outside looks okay, but I think something broke on the inside. There'd be caps in it for you. I do like to hear what's going on in the world. And that Mr. New Vegas seems like such a gentleman. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's see. She knows a lot. <laughs> She's got a lot of info. You know the robot that rescued me? I know that thing as much as anyone else around here. It mostly keeps to itself, which is just fine by me. How long has he been in Good Springs? It was here when I took over the saloon seven years ago. Some people have said its owner lived here, but no one knows who it was. Okay. Some of these, it's hard to tell with some of the dialogue options because some fine of them by me. are just like information. And other ones, I, I I like it when games indicate like, okay, this one is going to direct you towards the storyline, and this one is just like lore information. Um, but you don't really get that until like Fallout Four, kind of. Anything else interesting going on in the rest of the wasteland? There's always something interesting going on, but the biggest news has to be the coming dust up between the NCR and the Legion over the dam. Okay. Uh, damn, there's a lot of questions. Why do you think the NCR and the Legion both want the dam? I'm pretty sure the NCR wants to hold on to the dam because it's one of the few places around that can make electricity. The Legion are a bunch of savages, though. No idea why they'd want the dam. Probably plan on destroying it or something. All right. Be I think that's good. We could ask everybody about what they think. <laughs> about the Legion or the NCR. So she gave me a... What was it? Selenius. Mimantis foreleg. Weapon repair kit. Soup. Oh, this is when they introduce super stim packs and regular stim packs. Damn. Uh, did you, she gave me the, is it under like here? Deliver the package, to the entrance of the strip, by the way, a free slide. Hmm. Here's the busted radio. Okay. Let's go outside. I don't like the, those indicators, personally, it disincentivizes the other. Yeah, I, I get that. I, I just like it when it, like, shows you, because if I care about something, like, I'll, I'll continue to ask about it. But I do like it if it shows you or tells, 
tells you like hey this is gonna un unlock a new quest or like if you keep asking more about this thing you might find out something help benefit uh something that might benefit you but i get it too that's close enough who are you and what do you want with me uh i'm not an enemy if that's what you're asking sorry about the gun you just caught me off guard that's all we got off to a bad start what say we start over with a friendly game of caravan you know how to play you know there's a man named jacob cobb looking for you yeah he doesn't look very tough though i hear he's afraid i'll shoot him down from one of the windows when i see him and he's right i'll have a much bigger problem once his friends show up there's no way i could handle all of them in a gunfight Hmm. Oh uh, yeah, by the way, chat, my Twitch is cast as plays TV and YouTube is cast as plays if you guys want the full screen. Uh what are you gonna do with the powdered gangers? I'm gonna lay low for as long as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw me to the wolves. I've got no chance against the gang on my own. Is that Yuri? I can't tell. It, it sounds like Yuri. But I, I can't tell it there's like a hint of it being a little bit too low. Well, maybe I can help. We just end up sharing the same grave if it's just the two of us. Now, if some of the other people in town were also on board. I'll ask around and see what I can round up. Start with Sunny Smiles. She's been friendlier than most around here. Yeah, Yuri does tons of voice voice acting characters. It does sound like him, though. It's just more like monotone than a lot of the other characters he plays. You know, Mob and Deadhead. Thank you guys for the follow there. It is him? <laughs> I know Yuri when I hear him. All right, so we got to try to go help this out or help him out. Talk to Sunny Smiles about fighting the the powder gangers what's your youtube it's cast as plays and then twitch is just cast as plays tv <laughs> yeah so far i mean there's a lot going on right now so trying to figure out what we should do but that's why i'm just sticking to the main story for right now until I, I kind of get a feel for where all the other characters are and, and stuff. Hi there. Sticking around Good Springs for a while longer? I am. Um, I'm going to need your help. I'm going to help Ringo take on the Powdered Gangers. I might need your help. Say no more. I'm in. Well, that was easy. Joe Cobb talks about leaving us alone if we hand over Ringo. <laughs> but I know his type. He and his friends will come after the town eventually. Exactly. However, between you, me, and Ringo, we aren't exactly a force to be reckoned with. A lot of people around here look up to Trudy. If you could convince Trudy to join us, okay. some of the folks in town might decide to help out as well. I know Easy Pete's got a stock of dynamite somewhere, and Chet just got a shipment of leather armor we could borrow. Talk to them as well. Finally, there's a good chance we'll all end up with extra holes in us. So if Doc Mitchell could cough up some extra stim packs, that'd be great. Okay. Any ideas on how to convince Trudy to join us? A silver tongue would help. Convincing Trudy that we had a good plan to win the fight would also help. Would Chet be willing to give us supplies? I don't think give is in Chet's vocabulary. Even with the town at stake, he'd still make you barter with him. And how can I get Easy Pete's dynamite? Easy Pete's pretty protective of his dynamite. You'd have to convince him you know a thing or two about explosives before you handed it over. Okay. Uh, I'm a little short on caps. I don't suppose there's any work available. Not in Good Springs, no. But if you're up for a little scavenging, there's always the schoolhouse. Most of what's in there is junk, but there's this old safe that even Easy Pete wasn't able to crack with dynamite. Ooh. If you want to take a shot at it, take these. Cool. A magazine on locksmiths? If the lock's too much for you to handle, reading through the magazine might give you the edge you need. Oh, that's so cool. She gave me a magazine. Okay, cool. Always happy to help someone down on their luck. All right. Let's try to convince these people then. 
to help us out. So we got acquire additional medical supplies from Doc Mitchell. Acquire easy dynamite or easy Pete's dynamite. Convince Chet, enlist and help uh, enlist the help of Trudy and return to Ringo and let him know. Cool. Yo, Izzy, thank you for the follow there too. And Ellie, thanks for the sub on YouTube. We got a lot to do here. We got a lot to do. <laughs> got to try and get that. Uh, get to Vegas, which can be hard. Yeah, that's gonna be uh, gonna be a trip. Definitely. Let me check world map. Abandoned Brotherhood of Steel bunker. All right. I guess we'll we'll start with the doc and see what he says and then man I really got I got to figure out what's going on with like the mouse acceleration because I edited some files that stops it but it seems like it's just doing the same thing it like throws me off so much uh where's the book does it go under aid Locksmith reader. Okay, cool. I read it, but it didn't really prompt anything. Doc. Welcome back. So dark I in hope here. You wouldn't need to come see me again so soon. What can I do for you? Uh, I need medical supplies. Wait, actually, the town is going to be attacked by bandits. Anything you can do to help? Seems like wherever I go, it's always the same. Folks just never leave each other alone. Oh, I'm not much good in a fight with my bum leg. And my supplies are scarce. But I'll give you what I can spare. Hey, I appreciate that, Doc. They'll be using explosives. Do you have something for more serious injuries? I ain't got much, but it'll do you more good out there than it will in here. Take what I got. Hey. Okay. Thank you. You take care now. Okay. That's one guy. Let's see if we can convince the others. What's up, Code? Good morning, good morning. All right, Chet. You looking to buy some supplies? I need supplies to fight the Powder Gangers. Now just hold on. I never voted to take on the Powder Gangers. That's a thousand cap investment you're talking about. Ooh, okay. Oh, no. I'm missing it by one. 24 out of 25? Oh, damn. Okay, so this time I gotta, I gotta get Barter up. Because Barter last time, all I didn't realize it was going to be a, uh, a dialogue option like that. Right. Just keep me out of it. Is there anything else? Ah, uh, okay. Um, no, nah, that's it for Did right now. <clears throat> okay. You buy magazines from Judy? There's one that temporarily increases. Oh, it, is it a temporary increase? Hey there. All right, sounds good, Gold Toast. Yo, thanks so for stopping by, man. So you're on taking on Joe Cobb's gang. It's a big risk, but I suppose you have to do what you think is right. Oh, we leveled up, too. You should help me take down the Powder Gang. Bullets, explosions, lots of fun. I was planning on sitting this one out, but for some reason, I can't help but like you. I'm with you. Nice. Let me have a word with a few other folks, and I'll see if I can't round up some more members for this militia you're creating. While everyone does own a gun, we could stand to be a little better equipped. The general store probably has what we need in stock. Okay. All right. That's good. Eek. Yeah, there's a lot of dialogue options right there. All right, we'll bump this to 25. Definitely going to bump speech up. And then, ooh, I got one point left. Two guns. <laughs> 
Because if we can't if we can't talk ourselves out of the situation, I want to be prepared to shoot myself out of the situation. <laughs> Confirmed bachelor. Intense training. Ooh, I think intense training early on is definitely going to be good. Is there a max level for this one? Is is 30 the max level? Um, wait. Huh. Max level is 50 if you have... Yeah, I, I have... Uh... Okay. Yeah, I have, I do have all the DLCs. Cool. So then, honestly, I'm, I'm in between Intense Training and Swift Learner. Because we gain more XP with Swift Learner. Um... Or we could do intense training early on. Because I just want to get some stuff to seven. I'll do swift learner. Yeah, we'll just do that. So, I'm kind of confused with how special works and how like Howdy. charisma works in this one then. Swift learner early on is good. Yeah, that way we get a little bit more XP. Howdy. Hey, what's up, CJ? <laughs> I heard you got dynamite. It would be helpful. It, or it would help us beat the uh, the powder gang. Too dangerous. Gonna kill all yourselves if I let you touch it. Better to leave it buried. Safer that way. Oh, damn. So certain characters, uh, okay. Never mind. Yeah. I won't be able to do that. What do you know about Joe Cobb? Bad trouble. That's helpful. Welcome. Thanks. <laughs> he did not hesitate. It's like bad trouble. That's all I'm telling you. Howdy. You looking to buy some supplies? So in this game, if you have higher intelligence, do you get more skill points per level? Because that's how it worked in, in Fallout 3. But I'm not sure if that's also the case in this one. Yes. Okay, same thing. I just said that. Uh, Wait, did I just... You do level faster? No. But people are saying yes, sub or no. Yeah, apparently if you have, like... Because in, in 3, you would want to get your intelligence to 9 early. So that way you get uh, the max amount of skill points every level. And then you get even more skill points. Um, but, yeah. I need supplies. This again? Like I said, I'm against taking on the powder gangers. My supplies aren't cheap, you know. Let me take them over to the town then. I'll, I'm sure your business will be much better off. You made your point. I can provide people with some leather armor and extra ammo. Sure hope it's worth it. And uh, I'll be guarding the store while all this is going on. I have to put my business first. You understand. Okay. That's fair. Take it easy now. So yeah, it's, it's interesting. So conversations in this game aren't... Uh, it's not percentage based. It's like if you have this amount of points for this skill, then you automatically get it. It's like a it's a guarantee. If you don't have enough points for that skill, then it's like you don't even have a shot. Is that how it is for everything? And this one too. It's little stuff like this that like I don't remember. So that's like I'm kind of like asking. Yo, Captain, thanks for the follow there. Yeah, charisma doesn't mean <laughs> it doesn't mean ish. It's all about speech. Yeah, so that's that's why I'm kinda like, damn. I kinda gave myself seven charisma early. But oh well. It is what it is, I guess. Wait, so Okay, yeah, it does work like that. 
Yeah, if you look over these, so it makes sense. Intelligence. The higher your intelligence, the more skill points you'll be able to distribute when you level up. So I'm going to try to get intelligence to 9 then early. Um, yeah. Having high charisma will improve people's disposition towards you and give bonuses to both barter and speech skills. I mean, we can still work with this. It's not like it's it's over. But intelligence, I'm going to try to get to 9 then. Every time I level up for the next three level ups... Uh, we'll get it to nine, so that way we have the we get more skill points each time, and then from there I might get luck and agility to the seven. Oh, you get a chance to rebuild your stats at the end of this town. Fall one and two are hilarious if you have low intelligence and charisma. Yeah, I, I think I kind of uh, hey. I remember hearing something about that too. Somebody else brought that up recently. All right, I, I don't think we're going to convince Pete, but Howdy. I, I don't have anything close to explosive 25. Christmas should be <laughs> Christmas should be one. You get a chance to respect when leaving Good Spring. When you go to uh, Prim or wander off, you can redistribute. Okay, cool. Damn, I didn't realize it had that little effect. Does Charisma at least affect the town, like your relationship with the town that you're in? Or is it really just, like, that useless? Told you before, it's too dangerous for a bunch of amateurs to handle. I'm going to try too saying dangerous. it anyways. All right. Yeah. Can I say it again and, like, convince him? Okay. Yeah. All right. I think we're good then. He's the only other one. Let's go back over to Ringo. It's only companion damage, and I think like a few dialogue options in the game that require charisma. Our relationship is uh, determined by how much you help or hurt them. Gotcha. Gotcha. It, it does get confusing because, like, you have charisma and speech, and a lot of games, like, kind of put them together, but they're technically two completely different things. They just affect one or the other. Luck is what you want in New Vegas. Luck is always, always great to have. Yeah, I do have uh, good nature right now. All right, let's talk to Ringo. So what's going on? Did Sonny agree to help us? Sonny is with us. Well, I guess that means we're ready to go. Unless you think there's something else you can do. Um, I think we're good. Let's do this. All right, I'm ready. I hope. Time to look alive. The Powder Gangers are here to play. All right, let's do it. How many are there? At least six. Joe Cobb included. They look pretty mean. Let's go. I'll be set up near the store. Let's hope that the gang doesn't manage to make it that far. Uh, yeah, I think I saw, I saw a little bit of the, the caravan stuff. Yo, what's up, Akash? All right, I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's do it. Howdy. Oh, here we go. I love how they're not wearing anything. Reload. Oh. oh, I'm about to die. Ah. Hold on, guys. Pause. One sec. Gotta heal. All right, we're good. Play ball. Put on armor before you fight. Ah, it's okay. <laughs> Move. 
You're dead, Joe. You're gone. You're done. Oh. Oh. Come on. Okay. Oh god. I thought it was the I thought I accidentally shot somebody in the city. <laughs> vilified for your overwhelmingly monstrous behavior you have become vilified by the community come on get wrecked and idolized renowned for your extensive support and goodwill you are now idolized by the community that is one way to die take the stealth boy I owe you a huge favor for this. Here, these are technically Crimson Here. Caravan funds, but I know they'll understand once I explain things. Oh. Uh, you're welcome. I'll stick around for a bit longer, but I'll be gone in a few days. If you ever visit New Vegas, look me up at the Crimson Caravan camp. Okay. You got it. All right, let's grab all their weapons and armor and ammo and all that good stuff simple outfit eh? this guy sounds like Yuri from spider-man yeah I'm pretty sure <laughs> somebody else was say, I, well I said it too earlier but yeah I think it is him single shotgun pre-war helmet or baseball cap Okay. Evening. I think we got it all. Does okay. So there's repair and then there's maintain in this one. You have equipped faction armor. Faction armor disguises you as a member of that faction. Members of that faction now consider you a friend, while enemies of that faction will attack you on sight regardless of your personal faction relationship. Uh oh. Security personnel, such as guards and watchdogs, will see through your disguise and alert anyone nearby, so watch out. Okay. Yeah, we gotta be careful with what we wear. <laughs> At least it prompts you. Careful is an understatement, true. Alright, let me try to. I was gonna repair anything here. Nice. You can also mod your weapons in this one? Wow. Damn, some of that stuff I don't remember. Let's be honest, there's a lot of stuff I don't remember here. <laughs> and that's okay though. It's been a lot, it's been a long time. Chat, hold on for one minute here. Uh, I'm all out of dr uh, drink, so I'm gonna grab a drink real quick, run to the bathroom, and then we'll go ahead and uh, continue on. So, watch out, make sure we're safe, keep an eye out. Be right back.
I always forget about the third person. Where it starts panning around the character and stuff. Okay. <clears throat> So we did that. They want that way is, I'm guessing, the main quest. Which DLCs you got? We got all the DLCs. Jeez. So loud. <laughs> Yo, thank you guys for the 10,000 likes there on TikTok, though. I appreciate that. Thank you for all the new followers, the new subs, the new uh, gifts, everything. I appreciate it, as always. Nice to, uh, to finally be here. Finally be in Fallout New Vegas. Is this a different water tower? This isn't the one I'm thinking of, is it? Yeah. Oh, that's Vegas right there. I think. Okay. Is there anything else I can do in the in the village here? In Good Springs? Ryan, thanks for the follow there. Keep it going. Hold on, I just noticed something. Let me get rid of this. All right, never mind. It went away. Good Springs not really relevant the rest of the time. All right, yeah, we'll go down there then. We'll make our way. I don't know. Part of me, I might keep my stats and just roll with it. I think I'll, I think I'll keep them for right now and just increase the other ones with intense training. And luck always. Switch the charisma to intelligence. I mean, yeah, it would be useful. Hold on. Charisma. New Vegas. So are there like dialogue options down the line that require charisma? Charisma still helps with vendor prices and how companions fight. Also unlocks some dialogue you won't see without high enough charisma. Care about passing checks and dialogue? You can max the skill without needing charisma, but it can be worth starting a character with enough points in charisma to meet the requirements for any perks you plan to pick up. Hmm... Yeah, I'll I'll keep it. I'm I'm gonna keep my stats for right now. We will be bumping other other ones up though. 
I yeah, well, like as I level up, I'm gonna be doing the intense training so I can bump bump luck up and intelligence again. Um But I, I think I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna I'm gonna roll with it. God. Damn. <laughs> Where'd you come from, sir? <laughs> one shot him. Oh, of course. One of these guys, eh? Okay. Yeah, don't worry. I won't be. I, I do not fire until, unless I'm fired upon. You have discovered several locations. You can now travel back. Okay, sweet. So give me that. Oh. We got more of these guys. Come on. Damn. I know. Right enough. Oh. Jeez. Ooh, a hundred NCR dollars. It really is something playing this today because man, I like 12, 12, 14 year old me. I had no idea what was going on in fallout. I was just roaming around and talking it and yapping to people, man. <laughs> I was just playing the game without any knowledge. This, ooh, what's this do? Ooh, okay, cool. What's this do? <laughs> and now it's just like, it's a completely different experience playing it so many years later. I, I probably say like 14, 16 year old me. Still. Same bro. Yeah, I feel, I feel like that, that's kind of like how we all played games like that? back then, you know? You're just making choices and doing things to see what happens. But you weren't really like fun. Oh. oh, well. Oh, boy. Well, there's my first death. <laughs> Such is life, true. True. Not wrong. What what blew me up last time? Was there a mine? Okay. It was a mine. What the hell is that thing? <laughs> Look at him go. Be careful walking across the bridge. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be saving a decent amount here. It the saving takes longer than it did in in Fallout 3 though, unfortunately. It's a Geico gecko. Landmines everywhere in this game. Yeah, I'm trying to uh, Now that now I'm like anticipating more of them So I'm like I'm looking over to my left at chat and then next thing you know, I'm looking back at the screen And hoping that the second that I look over to the left that I'm not looking at a landmine Shoot him up. Nice. I like how it gives you a, a counter too. 
on enemies that you're killing. Like it says I got 20 out of 75 kills so far. I'm so, oh man. I feel like I'm killing Stitch, man. Where's the, uh, the water tower? Uh, where do you get Boone? I forget. I, I don't remember which way it is. It's not that water tower, right? It is behind me? Wait, is it that one? Novak? Boon is far. Oh, man. Man, I I've always forget how long. Like, in my mind, think, thinking back, I feel like I got companions so early on in Fallout games. But I guess you really don't get them that early. Hey, where the hell do you think you're going? Oh, right. The dinosaur. Prim is off limits. Right. Oh, I just finished the show. I've always played the game before, but I, uh, I always heard of the game, but never played it. Make me want to buy it. Hey, now's the perfect time. They're all really cheap, too. What's going on in Prim? Some convicts from the prison up the road have taken over the town. First companion's Everyone ED. Inside He's is in the town. Dead or okay. Hiding. Cool. What's more, there are two tribes of raiders causing trouble in this area as well. You'd be safer heading back up to Good Springs. I can take care of myself. It's your ass. Don't say you weren't warned. That's fair. Okay. Oh. They won't like it if I steal or take items, I mean. Sometimes it's free, sometimes it's not. Up and over. Okay, there's the bridge. Wait, how do I get... How do I get in here? Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah, I, I see the mines. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, no. Well, I was going to reload anyways. I was trying to disarm it. Attempting. I'm looking right at it. I, I didn't even... I guess you gotta be faster than that. You gotta like spam... Yeah, okay. It works a little bit different than, than Fallout 3. Okay. Yeah, the mind disarmed me. Got it. See, in Fallout 3, you could... You could walk up to it right before you got to it. <laughs> Wait, what the heck? Oh, you're an NCR. Patrol trip. in the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter. But yeah, in Fallout 3, you could walk up right to it without setting it off and then disarm it before you, you set it off. In this one, you gotta you gotta do it the second you get to it. Pretty quick. I'm Sergeant McGee of the New California Republic Army, 5th Battalion, 1st Company. If you want to talk about something, speak to Lieutenant Hayes. Where are you from? I'm from Hub originally, but it's been a long time since I saw uh -oh. him. I'm on my second tour here. Most non-commissioned officers are. All right. 
Goodbye. Sir. Yeah. I remember the last time I visited the hub. It's a good place. Talk to patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish Lieutenant for Hayes. Deal. I'm Lieutenant Hayes of the New California Republic Army, 5th Battalion, 1st Company. What's your business? What are you doing here? We were sent out here to hold back the tide of convicts from the correctional facility. As you can probably tell, we aren't doing the kind of job we could be doing. What's the problem with your mission? The mission isn't a problem. The problem is with supplies. The convicts are better armed and organized than our intel initially suggested. I'm trying to get some reinforcements here, maybe some guns with some firepower, but shit. Things are just going slow. Uh, do you have any information on the convicts? Not much. They've taken to calling themselves powder gangers. Mostly because they've uh. taken to using the explosives meant to clear boulders as weapons. They got organized faster than I would have thought. Most of them, at least. Thankfully, the small group in town here seemed to have split off from the main force, so they aren't getting anything in the way of support. Okay. Tell me about the facil correctional facility. Most people just call it NCRCF. That's NCR Correctional Facility. A little bit ago, the convicts there staged a coup. Killed the guards that weren't able to escape. And have been ransacking the area since then. Damn. All right, that's it for now. Goodbye. Winter. All right. How about this one. Can I sleep in any bedroll? Ooh, nice. They actually let me. Do shops open up at eight or nine in this one? My go-to is always nine, but. I think in, in three, it was nine. Shops are always open. It's always eight. Uh, maybe it's always eight. I don't know. <laughs> always eight in every fallout. Okay. What do we got here? Oh, this I remember. Oh, no. Yeah, that's right. Run. Run. All right, ready? Wait, I can't tell if that guy's hostile or not. Does the dynamite weigh anything? Okay, nice. Oh, wait, no, it does weigh something. Ooh. Oh, reload. What the? Gotcha. What? Trooper helmet, Merc adventure outfit. Vic and Vance. I don't know what it was brought you to Prim, youngster, but you might want to rethink your plans. Town's gone to hell. Who are you? Johnson Nash is my name. Husband to Ruby Nash. Lived in Prim going on eight years now, thick and thin. I'm a trader primarily, for what it's worth with things like they are. I also run the local Mojave Express outpost. Okay. I'm a courier with the Mojave Express. Well, I don't got any work right now, sorry to say. That's fine. I lost the package I was supposed to deliver. I'll tell you whatever I can. You have a delivery order you can show me? I do. What can you tell me about this job? Oh. You're talking about one of them packages. That job had Strange written all over it, but we couldn't turn down the caps. Mm. What was Strange about it? 
That cowboy robot had us hire six couriers. Each was carrying something a little different. A pair of dice, chess piece, that kind of stuff. Last word I have from the office, it looked like payment had been received for the other five jobs. Guess it was just your chip that didn't make it. First deadbeat we hired to do the job, canceled. Hope a storm from the divide skins him alive. Damn. Well, that's where you came in. Ooh. Wait, you know what I'm realizing? Oh, shit. <laughs> Does that turn that off? No. I gotta really turn it down. Shit, man. That's unfortunate. Because the radio is filled with copyright. You know, if they ever do a remake of any of these games, all I hope is that they just just give me give us a copyright free option. Because unfortunately, YouTube gets demolished. You you have one little song, seven seconds or longer, all the entire thing is ruined. And you just gotta mute it. Otherwise, I would, yeah, I would love to. So. Some men stole my package, a man in a checkered suit, and some thugs. Did they pass this way? Well, now that you mentioned it, a few nights back, one of the townies was out scavenging for supplies. He said he saw a fellow with a daisy suit come through with some of them great con misfits. They was talking about a chip. One of those men shot me. I need to know the best way to get to them. Well, for that, your best bet is going to be talking to Deputy Beagle. Since they came to town, he was keeping a good bit of notes on them, and he was slinking around Bison Steve when your pretty boy friend came through. He may have heard where they were going. Okay. I'd like to ask you something else. I guess I don't have anywhere better to be. Uh, where can I get information on the man that shot me? I want to ask you some more about the delivery I was supposed to make. Uh, yeah. Where can I get more information on the man that shot me? A Beagle had some notes he was taking while he was eavesdropping around the Potter gangsters. He'll be your best source of information on that subject. Mm. What? What can I do to help Prim? Right now, Beagle is the closest Prim's got to any organized law. But he's still stuck up in Bison Steve. First thing I'd say is get his sorry butt out of there. Hey. Okay. Um... Do you have anything for sale? Sure, have a look. Wow, he does actually have a decent amount. Okay, so NCR dollars sell for caps. Damn. I didn't realize... What? <laughs> they actually sell for a decent amount of caps. Let me sell... Yeah, I'll sell two pistols. Because I'll repair the other ones. I'll put these two together. Let's get rid of the baseball bat. Binoculars. Broad machete, cleaver. Get rid of the cleaver. Dynamite. Honestly, not sure if I'll ever really use it. The mines, get rid of. Mercenary grenade rifle. That's sturdy caravan shotgun. Holy switchblade. Throwing spear varmint rifle. He's out of money. Yeah, I'll take a little bit from him to make up for it. Alright, does he got... Got any stim packs? I'll take three. I'll take all of them. Give me a shot if you need anything else. Time for me to go. Howdy. Okay. Yeah, I kind of remember this place a little bit. Yo, Kemp, thank you for the rose there.
I feel like a lot of these areas are still like dark right now. I've bumped bumped up the uh where is it? Wait. Go back to gameplay. I keep bumping up the brightness, but I feel like it hasn't bumped up much. It is in the office. Rim Slim. Next to the big blue mailbox. Is it here? Like inside? Oh, outside. Okay. Open safe. Eh. I don't want to rob yeah. him. Yeah, these areas are so dark. Eddie. Eddie. Edie. <laughs> okay. Press delivery order. Wait, that was another courier? <gasps> I'm just like you, sir. Or I just was like you. Wait, which one? This one? The Nash Residence. Examine damaged robot. Examine electronics. Primary function systems seem to be fully functional and the uh, redundant systems all be working. You have to bypass some of the primary systems. Science 55 or higher is required. Required. What about repair? Repair 65 or higher. Okay, leave it alone. Wait, is this? Error parts. Three pieces of scrap metal, two sensor modules, and some scrap electronics. Hmm. Welcome to Mojave Express. Uh, drop boxes like this can be used to deliver items any drop box once you find it okay get the uh, modules is this the companion if you repair them it is oh okay yep okay so i'll try to i'll try to find those items then I don't think I've, I'm going to be honest, chat. I don't think I've ever had them as a companion before. I don't, I just must have always used uh, Boon. Oh, does it work in this game where you can have one like animal and or uh, like one animal and then one human? Yes, same thing. Okay, sick. Sweet. One robot, one human. Hell yeah. All right, well, we got to do it. So what are the items that we need then? Three pieces of scrap metal, two sensor modules, and some scrap electronics. I mean, shit, I lost karma. All right, I don't want to steal it, but I'll, I have one now. You know what? I'm, chat, you didn't see anything there, okay? You did not see anything. All right, well, now we need to go back to, uh, we need to find stuff to repair it. Where can you find the, uh, the items? So we need three scrap, two sensor modules. I mean, I could go to this guy. He might have them. Good Springs, Chet. 
I do have some stuff I can actually sell to sell to chat. That was a hell of a fight. Let's hope it doesn't bite us in the ass later on. Yeah, hopefully it doesn't. Uh, show me which way you got for Can sale. Do. All right, you know what? Here's some pistols, Chet. What items you got? That's aid. You got any? Ooh, he's got two of them. Okay. What was the other thing called? Get need electronics. Do you have it in, in here? Oh, sensor uh sensor module. Do you have one? Oh, scrap electronics, okay. He doesn't have a sensor module, though. Not that I can see. Yeah, he doesn't have a sensor. Okay. Making sure I'm not missing that. Another satisfied customer. Goodbye. Take it easy. All right. We'll go over to the gas station. Yeah, I could, I could buy the the stim packs. I don't want to spend all my caps yet, though. But uh, when I have more stuff to sell, then then typically I'll I'll always grab the. Uh, oh my God, there's <laughs> there's a thing right there I could have grabbed. Doctor's bag. Okay, yeast. Empty box. Braxo. Oh, oh, hold on. Some bottle caps. Sunset sarsaparilla. Um, duffel bag. Whoa. Nice that a lot of this stuff doesn't weigh anything oh for so this nine millimeter rounds <laughs> are considered stealing but the rest of this stuff is not oh whoops sensor modules behind the uh the store in the trailer Because it's Ringo's ammo. <laughs> Broken down car. Vending machine. So we're looking for sensor modules. Oh, behind the store, not the gas station. Gotcha. Oh. Yeah, this isn't my first time playing, but it's been many years since I played uh, Fallout New Vegas, so. Getting uh, adjusting to it again for the first time in a long time. Some more crates. Reloading bench. Oh, in the camper. Here we go. Hey, there's one. Do we need two or is it one?
Okay, it is two. We need one more. Was there a magazine that I just missed? No, there's a magazine. Oh, it's on the ground. Dude, it's so easy to miss. It's way too easy to miss. All right, let me use boxing times. And what was that one? Meeting people. Damn. Check Nash. All right, we can go back to Prim. Yes. Wait, did those just wear off? Oh. Wait, so the magazines only last for a short time. The books last forever. Um. Uh, well. Hey there. Oh well. <laughs> wait, wait, that was Nash. Was it? Pretty girl. No. This guy. Yeah, here you are. Hey, youngster. Still hanging about hey, Prim, youngster. huh? Um, I have some questions about your robots. Oh, yeah, actually. That beat up whole thing? What do you want to know? You mind if I try to fix it? Hey, you're welcome to try. It's yours if you can get it working. Ooh. If I had my way, I'd dump it in the scrapyard in Novak and be done with the damn thing. Okay. Where'd it come from? A courier dropped it off a couple of months back. I got it working for a little while, but the darn thing pooped out. I haven't been able to get it up and running again. I was hoping to use it for some courier work, but that ain't gonna happen. Hell if I know. I don't think it's serious, but my tinkering days are long gone. Don't... All right, whoops. Wait. Hey, One youngster. Trade. Still hanging about? We got for sale. Sure, have a look. Okay. <clears throat> you got it. One sensor module, sir. He does not. Oh. Yeah, I completely forgot that you can actually, like, um. Geez, that was loud. I forgot that you can actually modify some weapons. Ma'am? Um. Okay. Ma'am. Is there anybody else to trade with in here or no? Wait. Move along, please. Howdy, partner. Welcome to the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. Uh. Who are you? Prem Slim at your service. Authentic cowpoke <laughs> and official spokespot of the Vicky He's and Vance so Casino and Museum. Yeehaw! Yeah, I played Fallout 3 when it originally came out, and and this too, but it's, like I said, it's been a, a few years, so all this, it's, yeah, it's not so fresh. <laughs> Who are Vicky and Vance? Where have you been, partner? Hiding under a rock? Vicky and Vance were this nation's fourth or maybe fifth most infamous celebrity outlaw couple ever. That's who they was. Prim Slim here can tell you the whole story, if you can spare a minute to hear the tale. Lone Wolf? Uh, maybe another time. Have it your way, partner. Maybe work up your curiosity by having a look at thrilling exhibits. Alright. We- oh, we got Vance Gun Brochure. Uh, okay. Wait, where is Lone Wolf Radio? Is it, like, really far? 
Mojave Express. I haven't gone in here yet. Southwest of Good Springs. Oh. Start going in here. I've got you oh. Now. You're dead. Convict. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Reloading. All right. You, now you're dead. Man, you really got to... I'll, I'll use that terminal in a second. You like that? Oh! Yeah, I'll check this place to see if they they got anything. What? Merc Charmer outfit. Ooh. Okay. Kind of like that. Merc Troublemaker outfit. What's the difference between the... I mean, they both seem the same. Oh. I heard... Sorry, I heard something else. Like, what the hell is that? Uh, yeah, we gotta go back to the terminal up front, too. There's also a safe right here. Hey, what up? <laughs> Gosh, I don't have enough. Paperweight, bottle caps. All right, we're still looking for the sensor module, if possible. Yeah, yep. I can't use any of these. Way too... We're still level 2 right now, I think. Not even high enough yet. Let me repair some stuff here. It's nice that you can automatically, like, uh, repair your weapons pretty easily here. Do these take... Oh, they take different shotgun shells. Hmm. Interesting. Honestly, might use the weather pistol for a bit. I do like how they combined... Um, small guns and big guns for Fallout New Vegas. That percentage is real low, but I'm going for it. Damn. Damn. Oh, my God. Yo, I'll take it. Okay. <laughs> Just my luck. I'll get, you know, the first guy. No, no issues. Damn. So anyways, I started blasting. Level up. Level three. Oh boy. We're getting up there. <laughs> okay. I, I'll put five in the speech. Three in the medicine. And then I'm going to go guns again. Uh, maybe sneak. 
What's speech for? Conversations. I, I'm going to do a little bit of barter, too. Maybe. Actually, let's go repair. Yeah. I do need it. Yeah. I, I want to try to get speech capped first. And then once I have that cap, then I'll start doing like repair and medicine more. Definitely guns. Guns and speech are the two that I'm going to be doing the most. And then like lockpick and science, I'll be going half and half. Oh, we didn't get a perk for that one? Ah, shit. Oh, it's every other level up. Okay. Huh. Oh, damn. I thought it was going to be every level up. Yeah, I guess you I guess you kind of could say we're going for a cowboy build. <laughs> Good speech. A little pew pew. You know? If I if I can't talk myself out of a situation or convince myself, then well, they were warned. Oh, there's a guy back here. Deputy Beagle. Whoa. I don't suppose you came here to rescue me. I'd cross my fingers, but my hands are numb. Must be Deputy Beagle. Why, yes, I am. It's a pleasure to meet you. And you as well. I'm in a bit of a predicament here. I'd be most appreciative if you'd set me free. I hear you have, may have some information on cons that came through here with a guy in a checkered suit. Indeed I do, good sir. And I would be thrilled to share that information with you as soon as I am released from captivity. All right. You can tell me. <laughs> yeah, there we go. All you need is 40. You can tell me or he can rot in here. Nah, I'll set you free now. Oh, that's just marvelous. I think I'll be making my way outside now. The air is a little close in here. Surely he'll tell me after. If you try and run away instead of fighting at my side, I'll kill you myself. Oh, why, uh, of course. I'd never let you fight my kidnappers with my help. But without it, you lead the way. All right, that's, yeah, that's, that's what I like to hear. Good boy. All right. Rebound, regenerate a AP, steady, okay. Hold. Purified water, I'll take these. You had to let them know. Okay, it's okay, it's, a, it's not, we're not, you know, we're, we're doing fine, we're doing fine. Okay, never mind. Can't go that way. Sorry, that, that door is locked. I'm not experienced enough, sir, to uh, to open that door just yet. So we're going to have to go this way. Come on. Yep, there's there's your captors. They're all dead, as you can see. I don't know. what's Is there anything here? Oh, oh there's a second floor. Oh. Oh, there's somebody here. I just got a feeling. What's up, convict? Damn. All right, we got more coming. Maybe I should have just taken him outside first. You know what? Let's go outside and I'll come back here. Come on. Yo, Wyatt, thank you for the follow there. Oh, wrong way. Yeah, chat, thank you for all the follows so far on TikTok as well. And all the likes. Wherever you're watching, I appreciate it. Alright. Well, that was quite an adventure. We taught those convicts a thing or two, didn't we? Yep. Yeah, Breaking myself out of a hostage uh -huh. situation. Not to diminish your role in it, of course, but it was quite thrilling. Problem is, there's still no law in Prim. What are we to do the next time ruffians menace us and hold us hostage? 
Can you tell me about the man in the checkered suit who came through here? Ah, yes. My memory is much clearer now that I'm free from my bondage. I was uh, uh, performing recon, gathering information on some of the powder gangers. I was... Some great cons arrived with your huh? friend in the suit. They were talking about some delivery they took from a courier. I assume that was you? They said they'd be heading through Nipton to Novak to meet a contact there. Okay. Hold on now. Hello again. I don't suppose you've decided to help Prim find its next sheriff? What are the qualifications for a sheriff? It should be someone brave like you, but more of a homebody. Someone who'll settle down and watch over us. I heard the powder gangers talking about someone in the prison named Myers who has some experience as a sheriff. He may be a good choice. Also, with the NCR so close by, you may be able to get them to take over the town. Not sure why they haven't helped out already. Hmm. Okay. I'll bring the law and order back to Prim. You will? That's just marvelous. I'll start thinking up questions for the interview. The sheriff that was incarcerated up at NCRCF may be a good choice. You also may be able to convince that NCR guy across the road to take the town under his wing. Although martial law doesn't sound so fun. Okay. Get inside. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe the NCR for sheriff, but uh, we'll see. Is this an elevator? It is. I uh, need to repair it. Okay. Let's go upstairs. Like, I, you know what's crazy is like I I remember this town a little bit, but that's about it. <laughs> like the rest of it, I uh, running around here and stuff, and like talking to him. I I don't even remember him as a character. Fixing things, nice. It really does feel like a, a first playthrough right now. All right, let me say, I haven't done an actual save in a bit. Any mods on? No, this is just vanilla on PC. The only thing that I installed was a, uh, it was like a file you can use to let you run the game in borderless mode. Found you. Oh. Man, that percentage being 18% this is like the opposite of XCOM mods. I'm you actually... Like I love that. I love that so much. Damn. Holy. Come on. Oh, there's still more. Oh god, he's got dynamite. Gotcha. Yeah, I can I can already feel the improvements from three to this. Which is why I wanted to go through and play three first. Because I, I knew if I went from like four and down, like from four to New Vegas to three, it would be tough. And I always told myself if I if I was gonna replay the Fallout series, I had to start with three first. And I can already feel like combat differences and everything. Feels so much better in this. It's a worn key. Three was was a lot of fun though. It was also like it starting out, I could not. Oh my god! Every enemy that I was shooting, 
even in vats outside of vats inside of vats oh my luck was so bad it was terrible i could not uh kill anybody with it hold on i need to repair some stuff here All right, yeah, the, a lot of these are the same. If I throw the Merc Charmer outfit on, am I fine wearing that? Okay, yeah, I'm gonna throw that, oh wait. Okay. Yo, Kemp, thank you for the roses there. Once we get out of here, then we'll go. Yeah, we'll go get Eddie or Edie or whatever, however you pronounce it. Oh, no. no, 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 that's not what I meant. Okay. That's not what I was thinking when you activate the toilet. Okay, well. Do most people change the perks to every level, level with the mod or just vanilla? Uh, it's every other level, apparently, for this one. You finished Assassin's Creed? Yes, we did finish the, uh, the first Assassin's Creed. I am going to play two at some point. Uh, but right now I've been on like a very heavy fallout kick, which doesn't really happen a lot. So right, let me check these other rooms. Yes, yeah, I saw it. there's like a thing up the road for the next sensor module. All we need is one more. Try going out here. Oh, look at that. Little, little roller coaster. Cast a book that I like an actual book. I see ruined books. Yeah, that takes me there. We try going this way. Ooh, very easy lock. Nice. First try. Take the jet. Psycho. It's funny, like, whenever I used to play back in the day, damn. Oh, oh. Um. Every time I, I would never wear like armor. I'd always be wearing the pre the dirty pre-war, like relaxed wear or like the suits. I loaded into my original character that I had before I uh, started this playthrough and I just looked at my inventory and everything was, I was wearing a suit, I had no armor on, I was just chilling back then. Damn. Scrap metal. Okay. I'll take the Nuka Cola. All right, we can go downstairs now. We can leave.
All right, let's get out of here. So what if you go north on the road from here, there's Lone, Lone Wanderer or something? Uh, Lone Radio. Was it north or south? It, it was north, right? Lone Wolf Radio. Like past Good Springs or no? halfway to good springs i'm looking for a sensor module right now that's what i'm trying to get say before you step on on a mine ah we cleared all the mines here surely right <laughs> oh let's go right here it sucks because of how small sensor modules are too they're like tiny i mean yeah yeah, they're hard to see. To your left as you're walking down the road. There's a guy right there. Hey. Barn? Hi. Hello? Can you help me? What's wrong? My girl is trapped by geckos on the ridge, and I can't get to her. Please, she's going to die. Uh, it's towards Prim from there? Where is she? Go up the path, past the broken radio tower, and go to the right. They're at the top of the trail. So what I can do? You will? Thank you for helping me. Please hurry. It's okay, I'll help. Gonna be all right. I'll save her. Sexy sleepwear. Nice. <laughs> Imagine just running the whole game in sexy sleepwear. Hold on. We're going to sleep until like uh, daytime. Okay. I'll save her. I'll do it. Don't worry. I'll save her. Oh shit, I'm out of ammo. Past the radio tower? Hold on, we're already getting, uh... Getting sidetracked. I'll use the 9mm. Damn. Are you kidding? <laughs> Got him. We'll go back to the road in a minute. But now I want to do this. Getting to shoot him up. Oh, damn. Jeez. That's brutal. I think she might be dead. What is shooting? Oh, 
Oh! Oh, wait, there's something else right here. I disarmed the trap. Some leather armor here. Eh. Wait, Johnny. Merc charmer outfit. Reading glasses. What was that? It's like music that just played. The heck? Oh, that was the Wild Wasteland perk. Oh. Wait, what? Oh, I took it all? Oh, that area you are at isn't there if you don't have the Wild Wasteland perk. Really? Oh, that's really cool. Bowling pin, look downhill. Um, you can bowl? What? Oh. There's a body there. Wait, where's this bowling pin? Oh, I'm... I don't... Am I missing something? Merc Adventurer outfit. There's Johnny again. Sorry I tricked you, but thanks for clearing out the geckos. Now I can get to that stash up there after I deal with you. No! Hey. Wow. GG's, Martin. Oh. Oh, you think you're running? Huh? You think you're running? Hold on now. Wait until I get up this hill. I'll let them finish you off. Yeah, chat, you're all like, it's a trap. Don't do it. It's a trap. And I'm like, oh, man, I, I didn't know that. Or at least I didn't remember that. <laughs> but whatever. Doesn't matter now. I thought this guy is poor poor girlfriend was in trouble I just wanted to do the right thing turn that bandana on like there's a there's a lot of more uh yeah now off to the lone wolf to get parts there's a lot of, like, main story stuff that I remember, uh, which I'm not going to talk about just for, like, s spoiler aspect of things. But the little in-betweens, I don't remember at all. A little stuff like that. All right, so it's towards Pim?
And it's towards the mountain. Brim, I mean. To the right, towards the mountain. Pick white horse Nettie. Game came out 14 years ago. I think it's okay to spoil. See, I I personally disagree because there's a lot of people that have have just watched the show for the first time that are just now playing the games. Just like I watched there's a lot of movies that came out in the 90s that I never seen before, too. Like I'm gonna be honest, I didn't watch I haven't I did not watch Scarface until like two or three years ago but i already knew what happened because of people talking about stuff for years you know it's it's things like that but i i get it i mean there's always two sides of the fence some people will say uh, after a certain after you know 10 20 years it doesn't matter and then other people say well what about the people you know who were just born 10 years ago and never watched it or what about the people? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, Scarface came out in the 70s. Exactly. And I didn't watch it for the first time until, like, 2019, 2020-ish. You know? Eighty-three. Okay, a few years off. I'm trying to think of another movie that I didn't watch until, like... I watched, uh... Seven, yes, seven. I wanted to say seven Dev deadly sins, but I watched that for the first time like two years ago or a year ago, a year ago. Are you playing this on? I'm playing on PC right now. Yeah, my my Twitch is cast displays TV, and then YouTube is just cast displays. All right, am I am am I like too too gone too far? Have you seen the first Alien movie? There's another one. I literally watch. I, we were watching the Alien movies in order for the first time like two years ago, as well. I, I had a period where I was like, man, I'm I'm going back and I'm watching all this stuff I've never seen before, and there's still a lot. Like the other day, there was a Easter egg. On No Country for Old Men. Never seen it before. Always wanted to see it. Still, it's on my to-do list. The Sixth Sense. I didn't watch that until three years ago, too. That's another movie. <laughs> Honey, I set the kids on fire. Thank you for the follow there. Interesting name. Have you seen The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly? I have not. It's another movie I've heard very good things of. Um, I haven't seen Goodwill Hunting. Alright, where is where's this this uh place at? All these things that have came out a long time ago. All the <laughs> Interstellar I have, yeah. I'm currently watching the first... Well, I don't want to say it, actually. Because it could be somebody. Well, whatever. You know, I'm watching the first season of True Detective right now for the first time, too. Stop playing games and go watch all these movies. <laughs> yeah, I, I got that. Honey, I set the kids on fire. I saw the new Hellboy. I haven't seen the uh, the originals, though. I have seen the Fallout TV show, though. I went too far. All right, all right, all right. Where's the... Where's the... This tower. I'm, I'm wandering. I need to get back on the path. Because we only got a little bit longer here.
Original Hellboy. Yeah, I've always wanted to. Uh, Ron Perlman is the... He is the narrator for the intros and the endings of all the Fallout games. Which I, I watched him do an interview uh, yesterday. Of when he did them. <clears throat> Does it crash? I, uh, we're two hours in. We haven't had any crashes yet. And this is vanilla. No, no mods or anything. War. War never changes. Okay. Uh, where am I going? What's the thing called? Lone Wanderer? Lone, a lone wolf radio. I'm looking it up. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm really close to it. It's like right here ish. Okay. Sorry, Chad. We were going down a rabbit hole there, so I got lost. Okay, now I see it on the map, too. And, and that's why I try to, you know... I try to be conscious of people, you know, who haven't, uh, who haven't seen movies or played games without like, you know, spoilers and stuff, because there's plenty of stuff that I have never seen that have been out for years and years and years. And it's just media that I never, never got, got around to. So, aha, finally. Hard to watch work, uh, movies when you're working fantastic work. Well, I appreciate it, <laughs> country. Vision battery. All right, where's the sensor module? Oh, there's scrap electronics. Here it is. Damn, all I had to do was come up here and I would have found everything. That looks like it's a tripwire. We got a quest for this one. Or did I just discover the location? It's crouching for caps. <laughs> hey. We're early on, right? We're level two. We got to do what we can do right now. Take what we can get. Every time I see this guy, I keep thinking that he's just relaxing. Just sitting here chilling. Well, that's a dead man right there. All right, let's uh, try to fix it. Bear with parts. Fix with parts. Hey, we got an achievement for that one. Yeah, I noticed I have like two weird achievements for this game for when I last played it, but I guess they must have added achievements after the game was out on uh, Steam for a while. What faction are you going to work it towards? We'll most likely work towards the NCR. But we'll see. Companion protocol begin. Edie? Eddie? Edie? Has given you the enhanced sensors perk. 
Uh, I'd like you to make some ammo. Let me access your multi-tool. I want to make something. The heck? Interesting. All right, log off. Does it speak? Oh, hi, mister. I got a doggy saying hi. There. All right, let's see what we got here. I do want to kind of help the town. So what is it? Suggest an ex sheriff at the NCFR or N NCR CF and the NCR as potential candidates. Our first companion. Yo, King Cat, thanks for the sub there. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, first crash. Oh, no. <laughs> Well, let it begin. Here we go. Okay, at least getting back in is pretty easy. Just like that. Uh, let's talk to Nash. Can I talk to him about who becomes sheriff? Let's see if he recommends anybody. Dude, it's so you got dark that in this old place. robot up and running again? How's it working out for you? Um How can I help bring rule back uh rule of law back to Prim? Now your guess is as good as mine. You might luck upon someone who's a natural born sheriff. I heard of one fellow what got himself locked in that NCR jailhouse up I-15. And maybe that ain't the best credential. But a sheriff's a sheriff. I imagine the NCR would be able to bring some law to the town, too. But from what I've seen, they barely got the firepower to protect themselves. Okay. Oh, wow. Jeez. There's so many more dialogue options. Like in Fallout 3, you talk to somebody and there's typically like only four or five choices. But in this one... There's just like everyday people that you can talk to and have like 10 to 15 options. There's so much. What about Prim Slim? Could he be sheriff? Well, I guess I never thought of that. I guess he could be sheriff. If you think he could be reprogrammed for it. Okay. Reprogram Prim Slim to be sheriff of Prim. There's some questions about ED. That beat up old pile of bolts. Is it Eddie or what Edie? Do you know? Where's it from? Um, any idea what I should do with it? Not a bit. I imagine there must be some people around curious about that kind of technology. It is Eddie. Okay. Don't go getting yourself shot. I'll do my best. Hey there. Prim Slim. Howdy, partner. Welcome to the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. Using three fission batteries and four conductors. Damn, there's a lot of... Uh, huh, that's kind of cool. So you can either do it just automatically if you have the stats to do it. I, I kind of miss the percentage base, though, to be honest, but... um. Okay, or you could do it like that. Hmm. Let me go talk to the NCR. I like going with the con convict sheriff at the prison. I probably won't go with the convict sheriff at the prison, but... I mean, I won't, I won't throw it out the question. Like, I won't, I won't just put it, you know, put it down. I might actually try maybe the NCR. Just have them, have them do it if I can. What is it? Goodbye. 
Sir. Ah, yes. Hello. Hello. Uh, Lieutenant. Yeah? Prim is in dire need of some real law. We know Prim is a great strategic point, and we aren't blind to the needs of the town, but we're barely holding our own against the powder gangers. We don't have the guns or the personnel needed to carry out our mission, much less take on defending this town as well. Hmm. What do you need to take over protecting the town? What we need more than anything is bodies. If we had just one more squad, we could easily install a sheriff and still handle our primary objective of protecting the interstate south of here. Okay. If you'd like to see the NCR include protection of Prim and its duties, then you'll have to get some more troops up here. Knight at Mojave Outpost may be able to help. Okay. I can do Sir. that. I think I can do that. Etan Seal, <laughs> thank you for the follow there. And Sierra, thanks for the follow there. Yeah, my my Twitch is cast as plays TV and YouTube is cast as plays. Um, all right, so we can potentially get some people to help. I wish it would show you which location is which. Like if you if you hovered over on the map, you can't really tell though. Beagle wants a new sheriff. He suggests the NCR. Hayes and the NCR will protect Prim if they get some additional military personnel. Oh, it was like Casas. I mean, yeah, that, that one works too. I just say Casas. Um, because, um, you know. <laughs> it is Spanish, technically, though. Yeah. Hey. Talk to it? him. Nope. There's an enemy on the other side of the wall here, but. Huh. Ah. Ha ha ha. I think I'll get him another squad. Yep, yeah, you can always find me. YouTube is my preference, which casts cast plays on there. Because uh, everything that I play goes up there and stays on there. But you can really watch anywhere you want. Which is why I read chat like that. Cozy Leak, thank you for the uh, follow there, too. Yo, thank you for the gift there. Uh, Devin, I think it is. Thank you for the gifts. I can't really see it, but... Cause it only showed up for a second. Okay. Well, chat, as much as I would love to continue, I do have some stuff going on today. So we're going to save right here. Um, if you guys are excited for more Fallout, we will be playing a ton more. My entire Fallout 3 Let's Play is already up on YouTube. If you want to watch part one or any of the DLCs, it's all available. It's all there. Same thing, same format, just live streamed. But uh, now it's just available there. Um, I'm not sure. I don't think I'll be back on tonight because, uh, I'm, yeah, I got to drive for a bit. So I should be back tomorrow. Tomorrow we might be playing some the, something else though. We might be playing this. Uh, I'm not sure. But either way, thank you all for the new followers. Thank you for the gifts. Thank you for the follows. Thanks for the subs. Uh, again, YouTube is cast as plays. Twitch is cast as plays TV. I hope you all have a good rest of your day. I am going to be posting some videos on YouTube, uh, premiering them. So if you guys want to watch those too, I've been playing like Once Human. And then also I uh, there was like a zombies mode that I did that I'll probably publish that one too. So those will be up in a bit. Again, thank you for the follows. I hope you all have a good rest of your day. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Have a good one. Sam, thanks for the follow and see you all then. Peace.